I just think that um, there's other candidates that are better, more qualified, um, more suitable than Wyclef at this point right now. Wyclef's in a state of sleep, thinking about the robbery that I did last week. Just because he has the prominence doesn't mean he has the experience, or he doesn't mean, I mean, you, for example, things as simple as his team. You know, um, I saw him the other day. I didn't get a sense of, like, what was the real plan for Haiti. Like, Haiti needs what I call a short-term plan and a long-term plan, right? You got 1.2 million people living in Tent City right now. What are the plans to get these people out from this tent city and into regular civilization. He didn't address those issues. He didn't address about what is his long terms. Everything he said was basically just broad strokes, general, you know, plans or general ideas that he have. I didn't get a sense like this is someone that's going to really take Haiti and really take it to the 21st century. Okay, America, yeah, yeah. President Obama, Haiti, yeah, yeah. We clap shot. It would have been easier for me to just say I support Wyclef, you know, but I just don't support his policies. I don't see anything. For me, it's not about me. It's not about Wyclef. It's not about a sense of entitlement. It's about the people because at the end of the day, Wyclef gets on his private jet, flies back to the state, prize get on his commercial flight, flies back to the state, and we go to our homes. But the people still got to live in a tent.